CapCut Video Editor is a really easy to use and a free app for editing videos right on your phone. It's available both on Androids and on iPhones. CapCut could do basic editing like cuts and transitions, but it has a lot of advanced things built into it like removing backgrounds from a video, resizing it for different social media platforms. So in less than 10 minutes, I'm gonna show you everything you need to know from opening the app all the way to sharing your final video in 10 easy steps. So the very first thing obviously is look up CapCut Video Editor, that's step one, and download and open the app. Again, you could get it on Android and iPhone. I'm gonna open it here. And on the homepage, the second step is creating a new project. At the end, I do wanna show you the shortcut option that blew my mind. It basically edits a professional video in one click, but I'll show you that at the end. Right now, press that, and then it's gonna bring you to your videos library. This is the videos you have on your phone, and I went to settings and gave it permission so you could actually access some of these clips here. You could also use stock photos and videos here if you don't have any videos you wanna practice with but I'm gonna go ahead and I filmed some things in the Chicago Auto Show, so I'm gonna select them here. Now I'm not gonna select every single one because I wanna show you how to bring in additional clips. So as you can see, I have six selected. I could remove the order, I could change the order in a second. I'm gonna press add here. And on this page, basically I'll just show you what you're looking at and then we'll go step by step. But if you look on the bottom, basically it's laying down the order of how you would edit any video. So it starts with editing, that's the very left option. And then you'll work with audio and text. And then you'll go all the way out here to adjusting the exposure, the colors. And then you're all basically all set. You'll move in this order. And on top is the arrow for exporting, for sharing. So the third step in this process, once you have a new project, is you want to do your basic editing. So basic editing is trimming your clips and changing the order of clips. So let me show you that right here. So I'm gonna press edit right here on the bottom of the page and it's gonna bring me to edit mode. So the very first thing it lets you do is it lets you trim a clip. So if I just grab the end of the clip, I could make a clip shorter. And if I drag in the beginning of a clip, I could basically start the video a little bit later. So this is trimming. That's the most common way you would edit anything is trimming. Now with each clip, you could select the clip and then you will get that trim option for that new clip. So Again, I'm gonna start this one maybe a little bit later, maybe right over here. And I'm gonna press play here to see what it looks like. Okay, so that's the clip. And then right there, it cuts to this clip. Again, I could make this selection like this and I'll start this a little bit later. So now I could go back. Anytime you could just scroll through, this is called your timeline. All your clips are over here. So I'm gonna go back here, press play to see how it cuts from one clip to another clip. So that's basic editing, but sometimes you wanna change the order of things too. So if I want this clip, maybe this red car needs to come before this blue car. So I'm gonna press and hold, and you see if I press and hold, you see what happens? It lets me reorder the clip. So now I could grab this and bring it back. Maybe it's the very first one. You see that? Now if I go in the beginning, that is how my video starts with this clip instead, and then it cuts to the next clip. So that's pressing and holding. Okay, pressing and holding. It's gonna show you all your different clips and you can move clips around in the order you want. One more editing tip I gotta show you. With each clip, the beginning and end are easy to trim, but the middle is more difficult. So what if you wanna take out something in the middle of a clip? There's the split option on the bottom. So if you press split, it creates a cut on that very clip. And then you could go and create another cut. I'll go back to edit and split. And then I could take out the middle. So you see now I took that same clip and made it three clips basically. So now if I select it right here, I have the delete option right here so I could delete it. Okay, so sometimes you may wanna do that, especially if you're talking to camera and you wanna cut out something in the middle. And if you forgot to bring in a clip and you decide to now bring in a clip after you start editing, just press this plus sign right here and you can select the new clip you did not bring in before and add it over here and it will add it to the end and then you could grab it and place it anywhere you want. And there's more advanced options here like speed changes and animations and even removing background from a person that's available here. Again, if you wanna remove your background in video, you could do it with this option. And sometimes you wanna add transition in between clips. So if you go between two clips where there's a cut, basically goes from one clip to another, you could select the middle part and this lets you add transitions and you could see the different transitions with a little preview. 
So I'll just choose this flip option, for example. And you could see what that does. You just get a live preview. That one looks pretty interesting. So now I could go ahead and preview that. That's a transition. So now let's go ahead and work with audio. So if you click on a clip, you do have a volume option. So this lets you change the existing volume of a clip. So I'm going to go ahead and mute this clip, for example, and press the check mark. But let me go back. Next to edit on the home page, we have audio. So audio lets you add sounds. It lets you use sound effects, and you could even record voiceover. So for example, sound, you could actually sign in with TikTok and try to get sounds that way. You could also use the extracted sounds from your device. So if you go to from device, you could give it access and choose music from there as well. And under recommended too, there is some recommendations where you could, for example, download this right here and press the plus sign and I could add that music. You see how it's added a new audio track? That's your music track. And again, with any of these, I could select it and move it around just like any other clip I have and I could trim it. So I'm gonna grab, grab this one and move it all the way to the beginning right here. So now, if I have it in the beginning, my video and audio are going to play just like that. I'm gonna pause it there. So that's using effects and voiceover. You could hold and record whatever you wanna say. Just like me talking through this video, you could go ahead and add a voiceover like that there. I just went back to the homepage, so let me come back to my project. So that's adding audio and music and sound effects. Next, we wanna add text, that's step number five. With text, I'm gonna press the T option right here and press add text. You see you have some options here, add text, and type out your text. So this is the Chicago Auto Show. And you could change the style. So there's a bunch of different styling format. You could always grab and reduce and increase the size just with your two fingers here, pinching it. And you'll see a bunch of different options to see what works best with this background. Okay, and then when you're happy, just press the check mark. With every text, it creates this other layer too, just like your music layer. You could always trim the length of it too. So if you wanted to basically just keep going, you could just stretch it out and it's gonna keep going. I'm gonna reduce it and end it after this first clip here. It does have animation too. So on the very bottom, you could animate the text into the video. So I could use animation. You see how it cuts into the video? So maybe the glitch option is cool. So I'll press the check mark and then I'll press play to see how that worked. Okay, that's cool. Stickers, overlays, effects, and filters. I'm gonna bundle all that in the step, but if you wanna really step up your video, you could basically add these sticker options. They're kind of animated stickers to your video, and you could, again, resize them and put them anywhere within your video, just like you can move the text around that we did in the last section. So go ahead and place this anywhere you want, and then you could preview to see what it looks like. And again, it added it just like this. So you could go ahead and select that and stretch it out. Then overlay lets you basically add another video on top of your video. So you could basically do a kind of a picture in picture effect, which could be interesting from time to time. So something like that. So they'll both play. You see how it's basically laid down the other track. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this here. I'll go to delete. But overlay could come in handy. Now effects and filters, let me show you effects. You could use all these type of effects to make your videos really stand out. So I'll just show you maybe this one right here and press the check mark. You see what it's doing to my video? It's created this confetti overlay on top of my video. So that's an interesting option. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one and I'll go back. And then you have filters. Filters right here is just kind of a look and feel to your video. So you could add these type of filters now you're probably familiar with filters here, but it could be interesting and the intensity of them could be changed with the slider. And I press the check mark. Obviously, when you're making your videos, you don't have to use any of these, right? You could just tell your story, add some music and voiceover, and then you're done. But I did wanna show you all these options. Step seven is very important, formats. So by default, it's gonna recognize the shape of your video, okay? But if you look down here, you could also make your video into horizontal if you're going on YouTube, or turn horizontal videos and turn them to nine by 16, which is vertical. So for TikTok or Instagram Reel, for example, or YouTube Short, but you do have some options here for resizing your video. And for step eight, I go to adjust. And again, adjust has filter options, just like we saw before, but you could also manually adjust if something is too dark, you could use brightness to maybe make it brighter or make it darker. You have contrast, you have saturation if you want it to be really vibrant, okay? So these are more color correction options 
and some styling options like vignetting could be interesting so I'll go ahead and add vignetting here now I could preview my whole video here so I could just scrub through it or press play here that's going to show me my whole video I could press this option to go full screen so if I wanted to just review everything in full screen just to make sure everything looks right I'm going to go ahead and exit full screen here and then let's say I'm done okay if you press X anytime you'll come back to this home page where you could again jump into that same project it saves the project for you you don't have to press anything but to share your project that's our very last step and exporting is what I want to do here and if you press this 1080p option you could change the resolution if you have a higher resolution you recorded with and your frame rate which is more advanced in this case I shot this video on my iPhone at 1080p 30 frames so that's all good now I'm going to press the up arrow here and it's going to export my video from here you could share directly to TikTok in this case I'm going to press other and save the video to make sure it's in my photos library and press done okay now I'm all set I could basically share that video at this point but that shortcut option I mentioned in the beginning of the video let me show you that because it could automate this whole process for you now shortcut select this select the clips you wanted to use in your video okay I'm going to select all these here and I'm going to press next now see what happens here now I haven't done anything I just press one button after selecting it and it automatically creates an entire video for me from scratch you see that it's just creating this video from scratch for me okay and what I could do now is I could change the style okay so I could go ahead and change the style to a whole different set of animations now it's using some of the things I already added to the video too but if I didn't it would still make these edits for me and there's a bunch of styles and you could always replace the sound here too so I'm going to choose a travel sound let's go ahead and use this one press plus and then it's going to add it to this video and then cut it to the music okay these are really really interesting options and it makes you have a complete video in just a few seconds I hope you found this one useful I'm making a more advanced training video on CapCuts and I'll post that below in the description box so watch that next to really learn everything CapCut has to offer thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time